architect uh, then this opens a lot of possibilities unfortunately what happened is uh, many of my students they are also working in uh, uh, cloud technologies they are also working in sdn and uh, stuff like that especially i got some students who are around my age or a couple of years older than me or nearby you know 37 38 years so, so bunch of them uh, uh, mostly from abroad of course a um, bunch of them are working in uh, you know virtualization and uh, stuff like that uh the thing is uh, they discuss about uh, uh, containers namespaces and other stuff the unfortunate thing is uh, they kind of uh, don't understand the system aspects if you see virtualization uh, the industry is over hyping the term uh, let it be the docker containers or the overall you know ecosystem of that but if you see the virtualization is nothing new you have the operating system doing uh, you know providing virtual memory from ages okay so that's why if you see the college textbooks you will uh, stumble across uh, pictures like this see uh, virtual memory mapping so you will uh, you know come across all this type of pictures see when i was in college i had this uh, wonderful book called uh, a voyas from uh, silver shards i'm not sure about the other author operating systems yes you can see here this is my book uh, which is uh, my syllabus uh, you know it is suggested uh, you know in my syllabus so, so this is our reference main reference book so it's a nice uh, book it used to have dinosaur pictures it's around this thick but it it is quite uh, interesting this is uh, by far better than some of the other books uh, something when it comes to networking they generally suggest the tenenbaum but i don't uh, generally like that networking book because uh, although being a network expert i feel that somewhere it kind of vaguely you know portrays rather than going straight to the you know real world use case scenario okay versus when it comes to operating system this book is this book is more on you know generalized os topics it is not uh, anywhere biased towards linux or windows or any single operating system it's it's more uh, approaches in a generic way but at the same time here and there they will provide some examples so in this book uh, in this kind of books you will find often pictures like this uh, some type of mapping this is how it happens so from uh, you know the virtual or the logical uh, address space to the real physical memory uh, mapping okay so you will find all sorts of you know pictures like this in general so the implication is uh, which is actually what is happening is this is what it is happening and uh, what happens is whenever this mapping happens in linux kernel there is uh, there are couple of apis involved called as copy from user and copy to user and this is the api it does that uh, uh, copying anything from a uh, user space uh, memory uh, area buffer any anything to the kernel space especially when you do operations like any socket calls or ipc or anything like that it does this uh, you know copy from user and copy to user so if you want to copy anything over here let's suppose you have something some bytes over here in this place into the kernel space so naturally kernel is going to call those apis which is nothing but you know copy from user and the copy to user so this is what it happens so like the name says a copy from user it copies uh, you know uh, from this to this and a copy to user it is copy it is going to copy from operating system or the kernel address space to the user space uh, uh, you know mapped uh, memory over here so i don't mean to say m map alone it can be any memory so this is what it happens so any time you do any uh, socket calls or anything first it does is a copy from user and then it gets that data to the kernel space uh, memory space and then it you know does further processing and builds the packet around if it is uh, any socket calls meant for external systems then it is going to build all that uh, header ip header and uh, before that uh, tcp or udp header and it is going to construct that entire stuff and it is going to send across the network interface card through device driver so that's that's the sort of you know flow happens so these are the main fundamental apis which does that unfortunately again uh, uh, none of the college books emphasizes you know these apis I, I, you know if you are not aware you need to dig these apis in the kernel source you can go here and you can uh, search uh, you know copy 
you can see your copy to user you can search this api and you will stumble across the you know header file and as well as the sample uh, you know i mean not sample just uh, anywhere if this api is used you will find all the c files uh, it's been used you can see here it is referenced which means the api call happened in all these c files and uh, you know all these files below versus it has been defined over here so you can see your copy to user and copy from user also you can find here and uh, if you are curious you can walk through this source code and you can see exactly how it does and if you understand the source code it is actually nothing but fundamentally it is what is this is all about whatever they mentioned in all these pictures uh, it is essentially that api does how it has uh, been uh, mapping from logical address space you know to the physical memory you can see here this slide is interesting let's just zoom in uh, this is very small or uh, something like that yeah you can see your program address to that you know physical address something like that virtual memory to the main memory whatever whatever you find all these pictures essentially it is these APIs are doing in the real Linux uh, kernel source. Uh, of course, in Windows also something similar happens. But what happens is, uh, since Microsoft is a not open source operating system, some of these uh, system level aspects will not be shared across to the public. So naturally, you can use uh, in Windows ecosystem only the APIs you know provided by Microsoft. You will not be able to go through the stuff which happens below because it is you know it's more like a black box they they can't you know provide access for an end user uh, end programmer uh, or uh, general application level programmer to get access to those uh, components so naturally in windows you may not able to get to know how it does inside microsoft windows whereas in the case of linux we are fortunate because it is open source anyway you can go through the code essentially whatever happens in the code is conceptually what is you know depicted here and whatever you read during your college so this is what it happens so mmap there is a lot we can discuss uh, i just uh, you know want to keep this episode quite limited uh, you can create uh, sometimes uh, you know this is one option sometimes even uh, you, you can have uh, another option like you can create some type of character driver here and that character driver also you can provide an, uh, an access to the user space uh, and sometimes if you want to do any uh, there are situations in my uh, use case uh, in my toffee I need to process uh, every packet so uh, unfortunately whatever uh, the thing what i work i have to do that in real time it's not any file uh, you know processing like you open the file you compress it or encrypt the file and you save the file it is not the case in my situation i get uh, packets in the real time i have to take the packets collect the packets in the real time at you know gbps uh, speeds as you know anyone working on networking uh, we measure in mbps which is bits per second and gigabits per second so we don't measure in bytes per second like you know storage uh, guys okay so i work in uh, you know i need to do that in real time so whenever i get packets as soon as i get the packets i need to process them so if i do all within user space there is a lot of performance overhead is you know um, occurred uh, incurred in that uh, you know uh, approach and i can do in uh, kernel space uh, sometimes i can also take uh, some type of character driver and uh, push this data into that and uh, there it can be processed and get back to the user space and lot of combinations are possible sometimes even this uh, driver may be mapped to some uh, offload uh, hardware where i can do the actual encryption or compression inside the hardware and then get that uh, you know processed data back to the user space and i can work further actually so all these uh, possibilities are there so one uh, among uh, the pieces of the puzzle is a map and if you are really not sure you should explore okay and you can also search various uh, interesting uh, aspects also see m map also if you search in uh, images you will find a lot of uh, you know lot of pictures like this you can see here 
and uh, one more thing i caution you is uh, it can be used in various scenarios okay you can't conclude anything from one example thinking that this is the actual use case of a map or something like that it can be used for any kind of memory mapping okay it depends on how you pass the parameters and uh, what scenarios you use and uh, stuff like that like i said sometimes that mapped memory can be forced to use that uh, you know character buffers uh, character arrays uh, uh, i'm sorry character drivers uh, you know buffers and uh, you can do away using any uh, you know pages i mean uh, like this instead you can directly use some kernel mapped memory uh, and uh, you can use over there instead of processing your data over here or over here you can actually process uh, over kernel mapped memory and uh, you know stuff like that so there are a lot of possibilities are there and um, which is why i'm saying whenever you read uh, about generally about a map generally you can get some vague picture because it's very versatile it can be used in multiple scenarios but it is good to know that such a you know uh, 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 you know such a thing is available in case if you have never uh, stumbled across this api then you need to dig down and also i recommend uh, in case if you are curious uh, uh, you can also benchmark uh, the performance between uh, you know the traditional uh, this type of memory uh, versus uh, something like m mapped memory and uh, also i can show something see when uh, i often see people curiously read about this um, 